Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, this is the third video from the chapter representation and description that is our chapter number 12 in our digital image processing subject. Earlier we are covered with understanding of the simple boundary following and then the representation technique using the chain course. Let us have the boundary approximations now using the minimum perimeter polygons. So let us see the details. So here we can start with our topic the boundary approximations using the minimum perimeter polygons. A digital boundary that we have seen with respect to the digital images we must say it can be approximated with the arbitrary accuracy by using a polygon also. The approximation is exact when the number of segments into the polygon is equal to the number of points into the boundary that has represented. So that each pair of the adjacent points here defines a segment into the polygon. Now the goal of this polygonal approximation is actually to capture the essence of the boundary shape with the fewest possible polygonal segments. So after this particular one at the latter time we can also regenerate it to represent with the same manner. So now here we begin our discussion of the polygonal approximations with a method for finding the minimum perimeter polygons. This procedure can be best explained by an example. So suppose we enclose a boundary by a set of concatenated cells that we can show with the help of figure A. So here we have the object boundary enclosed by cells here. So here in the diagram you can see there that the concatenation of the cells you find here. So side by side the adjacent attachment with next and back cells here we have represented with respect to the boundary that is going here. Now it helps us to visualize this particular enclosure as the two walls corresponding to the outside and the inside boundaries of the strips of cells and we can have thinking of the object boundary as a rubber band that has contained within the walls. So if we have actually the rubber band that is allowed to shrink it takes the shape of that we can show into the next figure that is B producing a polygon of minimum perimeter that fits the geometry that is established by the cell strip here. So here we have figure B that represents the minimum perimeter polygon that is the title of our topic here. So because of the shrinking effect you can see with the minimum distance the portion is supposed to get covered here. So the minimum perimeter polygon that is generated into the same grid of concatenated cells here we find. Now in each of this cell encompasses only one point of the boundary. The error in each cell between the original boundary and the rubber band approximation at most would be under root 2 into small d. Where the small d is the minimum possible distance between the different pixels available. Now this error can also be reduced by half by forcing each of the cell to be centered on its corresponding pixels. Now after understanding the boundary approximation with the minimum perimeter polygon the another approach that we can have improvement here we can be using here merging techniques. So let us address this topic. The merging techniques that are based on the average error or other criteria have been applied to the problem of polygonal approximation. Now one approach is actually to merge the points along a boundary until the least square error line fits the point merged so far that exceeds the present threshold. When this condition occurs the parameters of the line are stored the error is set to actually zero value and the procedure is further repeated merging the new points along the boundary until the error exceeds the threshold value. At the end of this particular procedure the intersections of the adjacent line segments form the vertices of the concerned polygon. 
now one of the principal difficulty with this particular method to have is that the vertices in the resulting approximation do not always correspond to the inflections such as the corners if you can take in the original boundary because a new line is not started until the error threshold is exceeded if for instance a long straight line were being tracked and in turn a corner a number that is depending on to the thresholding value of the point past the corner would be absorbed before the threshold was exceeded however the splitting along this kind of merging may be used to alleviate this difficulty so because of this reason we shall be addressing the subtopic here the boundary approximations using the splitting techniques let us see how the improvement can be done into the problem statement so now here approach is to subdivide a segment successively into the two parts until the specified criterion is satisfied for instance a requirement might be that the maximum perpendicular distance from a boundary segment to the line joining its two end points is not exceed a preset threshold value if it does the farthest point horn between the line becomes vertex thus subdividing the initial segment into the two sub segments this approach is offering us one of the advantages of seeking the prominent inflections points for a close boundary the best starting point usually are the two farthest points inside that boundary here so for example we can take here figure a that shows the object boundary and we can have the representation with the help of figure b showing us the subdivision of the figure while representing it as a solid line about its farthest point so here we see both the figures a and b so this is the figure a showing us the original boundary and on to the right hand side we find the boundary divided into the segments based on to the extreme points so in this particular boundary the extreme points have been find here a straight line joining the two we can see here and the markings of small a small b small c and small d you can notice into the diagram that we shall discuss now in this particular figure the point mark c is the farthest point in terms of the perpendicular distance if you take from the top boundary segment to the line ab similarly the point d is the farthest point at the bottom segment figure c shows us the result of using the splitting procedure with the threshold equal to 0.25 times the length of the line that has shown by small ab as no point in the new boundary segments has a perpendicular distance that is to its corresponding straight line segment that exceeds this particular threshold value the procedure can be terminated with the polygon that we can show into the figure d so here we have the representation of visualization with respect to the figure c and d so at the left hand side you can see the figure c that is representing us the joining of the vertices so here we have the vertices represented and marked by small a b c and d as shown on to the boundary and the resulting polygon if you extract from this figure that can be shown on to the right hand side as the figure d so a resulting polygon you can see so in the sequence you must call it a c b d or a d b c so you can start at any of the corner so i hope the understanding of this topic is very very clear to you people it was very very simple task to have the understanding of this representation and further description that we shall be discussing here by the next lecture we shall be addressing the next topic of this chapter the topic is titled signatures so i am sure that the details of the knowledge with respect to the subject digital image processing we are sharing you are definitely benefited for for more information you can surely subscribe to our channel ikeda thank you